Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of M Outdoors. Today we are taking off and going to a small pond called Holbrook. It's more splake fishing, and we're going to spend the night in the ice shack. So I am headed up right now to meet up with Keenan. He's getting the truck packed, and then we're gonna head out, set up camp. It's gonna get dark, and we're gonna fish all day tomorrow. Well, long story short, there's not enough safe ice to travel the sled over to the pond that we're going to be on because you have to go through Little Holbrook to get to Big Holbrook. Little Holbrook, you're not able to fish. So, we're rerouting. We're going to a totally different lake and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So, we're gonna hit up Chisunkook, see what we can find. And we're back. Square Round two. Round two. You really don't need to shovel out there. No. Maybe sitting right on top. what we need. Inflate, foot, deflate. Oh, it says right on it. Huh? Take out unfold mattress. Turn valve cover counterclockwise and open the air nozzle. Turn inflate valve to the inflate position. Done. Wait six to ten minutes for the cushion to inflate by itself. Four. Use the packing bag to inflate the mattress to the desired hardness. Gotcha. I get it. If the sleeping pad is too hard, you can gently adjust in foot valve to release excess air. When the sleeping pad reaches the desired hardness, close the valve cover clockwise. Enjoy the comfort of a home away from home. Okay, so Kina and I bought this on Amazon, read some reviews, it looked okay, um, it's called Lost Horizon, 
We had bad luck with the air mattress that came on this Coleman uh, two-person cot. So this is like a foam pad on each side, and then you can like, it inflates itself and deflates itself. So there's no popping, which is what we need. But it comes with like this little attachment, and you can put it on the little tube, and you kind of like, I think even at that density, uh, you know, we're going to have the bar in between us is a pressure point, but we're going to be comfy in each one of our little nooks, our little spots, you know? You know what else is really nice about this? Ooh. Um, it's super waterproof. Yeah. Like. I've noticed that it beads over. Like, yeah. You don't have to melt it on. Just, well. See, it's like. I know. I saw it. <laughs> Lost all my heat. Oh no. I have like this problem where I we like get something or I get something and I like love it instantly and then it like disappoints me. You're already at the disappointment? No, I'm just I don't want to say anything too Thank soon. You. Right now, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Ooh. Not as good. I got a 6 out of 10 on these. F is for friends who do stuff together. Same thing with the knife, locks in, stick the file out on the opposite side and close everything. I'm going to leave these you because I don't need them, but these are open. Whatever else. I can't tell you how sharp this knife is now that I just cut through aluminum like it was paper. But, uh, is it just clean enough to cut that kielbasa up? Oh no, it's, it's still sharp. Um, it's plenty clean, yeah. I do, I do have this clean. <laughs> Oh, of course. Do 
is our oil tear. <clears throat> How you doing, man? Good, it's done. Uh -huh. It's done. Cool. Okay, I was getting you that fork so I could use <clears throat> it right here. Mm -hmm. I was going to give you it. But as you oh. see, you can't wait. Bad. So, uh, Yeah, it's your Uncle Chet Trap. It's right off to the left here, and you go out and to the left. Um, the first trap. Let's get the thinnest dice. So. You getting me some au jus? I'm getting you some green beans. Oh, you. green beans. I put them right in there. Go. After Good. I go cook in the kielbasa, so I'm like, I don't have anything else to. I know. Put them in here. They're still. Thank there. you. Thank you very much, hon. I very much appreciate you. I appreciate you doing everything today. Anyways. No, please, we'll have everything, like, kind of out and ready for mm -hmm. next week. Yep. It was very wise to do this trial run. And whose idea was it? Yours. Yeah, exactly. That was your idea. It was very wise, wasn't it? Y you're very wise. Just well, listen, it doesn't need to glow very bright for them to see it down there. It it pitch black. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look, like. So with a zero degree sleeping bag and the heater going. What brand are they? You must be in like your underwear in there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I got on my car heart. Fuzzy. See, that's where people think that I have a southern accent. Yeah. Because I do that that Southern accent. I yeah, I don't know why. It's like my car heart. <laughs> My car hat. It's got some fuzzies on the inside. I got a long sleeve on. I got on some insulated yoga pants and some woolies. I'm gonna sleep like a dream. Will you be warm? No. No. Yeah, it will. We got the alarm set for every hour. We got the alarm set for every hour on the hour. We got some cusk lines out. How many? Eight? Eight. <laughs> nine? We were, we were Does that count? Technically nine. I, I should have grabbed my bell. Could have put a bell on it. You need a lot of bells. I'm going to reel it up before we go to bed. Yeah. But. What time is it? 5.30. What's going on?
We got a flag. Finally. But it's, it has to be mine. Here's your flag. I'm not going to be able to kneel down. Either a chub, a really small cusk, ripped off, or nothing, because I woke up for it. Feel anything? Not big. Huh? Not big. Hope it's eatable. We got a stick. We got a stick at 5:30. I'm so excited! I can't wait to eat it. Oh, look at that! What a beaut, hun. Yeah. We're eating so good today. Mm -hmm. I never guessed a stick. That there's a lake stick. That is a lake. That's a nice stick. Nice. I'm getting that blooded. I woke me up. I had a dream like throughout the night. You were task fishing. That I was fishing by myself. And I had like my camera and shit going and I caught a fucking huge toad. Uh you want a little sip of this? I'm such a bad influence. I know. Let me tell you it feels wrong drinking it like this. I want to just cut this off so I can just drink it like a coffee cup. Because it's so weird to do that with coffee. You know it's blueberry? Yep. I can smell it. So can you open that so I can see? Good? Okay. Happy sunrise. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi camera. Small one. Not worth the nuggets. Better off uh, letting him live for another day. All right guys, so I wanted to give you a little ice shack tour. Um, it's an absolute mess right now. I should have done this first thing, but we got everything set up at in the dark. So it didn't really look the greatest. 
All right, so this is the door. When you walk in, we have our Mr. Buddy heater with propane tank. We keep the propane tank inside the tent because we don't want it to get cold. Um, I always worry about it. It's been fine. Now we have our little table, 20 bucks at Walmart, and our little Coleman stove set up with percolator. This is all a mess right now because we cook breakfast and I haven't picked it up. Um, but anything that's cold, we just kind of set on the ground. We are going to get better at creating a camping bin. Um, we usually have one in the spring, but in, I need to figure that out. Um, all our dry foods in there, again, need a bin. Um, and then we have our bed. The cot is a Coleman brand double cot. It did have an air mattress that came with it that this went in. Like the air mattress went in this zip up and it popped on us. So we got this, which I am still 10 out of 10 on this Lost Horizon brand. Self-inflatable foam, squishy. It's great. Um, this also has little attachments for right there. It clicks in right there and it has little cup holders in it. Um, then over here we just have camping bags and then we have one hole drilled to jig out of. And then I have stuff for like my cameras, gloves, trash bags, and our light. This light works when it wants to and when it works it's great. Sleeping bags, we use our field and stream. They're rated for zero. So that's our dirty ass ice shack set up right now. Um, we do have a trip to go to Allagash Lake next week for two nights like we did last year. Um, so this is just kind of like our test run to make sure like we remember everything because we're legitimately, you know, down the road from the lodge right now. So if we really forgot anything that we absolutely needed, then we'd be able to go get it. So uh, this is just like the test run to make sure the new mattress works. Um, as we remember things that we've forgotten, I've been writing it down in the memos on my phone, like condiments and seasonings, um, paper towels, trash bags, all that good stuff, which we did remember last year. We were pretty good about that. I think the only thing we forgot last year was seasonings. At least half your line's gone. Cool. Gonna be a long haul. Oh, wow. Just try 17. Help the young male though. Oh. Face is super pointy. Right. 17. Healthy. There you go. See those bubbles come away from his gills? Yeah. Whoosh.
Yeah, hon, even if this thing fully deflated, yeah. it's still, like, squishy. Yeah, thing definitely. It's an 11 for 10. It's 11 for 10. We've only used it once, so... Yeah, this is a good point. I'm, I'm still 10 for 10 right now. We're going to use it again next week. Yeah, I don't know. I Rotate understand. and open the cap and reverse the flip valve to the deflate position. Roll the mat from the bottom end to squeeze out as much air as possible. You may need to repeat this process two to three times to remove the air from the mattress. Folded and then rolled? Yeah. So yeah, you unrolled it and then... Yeah. yeah. It's going to have to be half folded, but you got to get the air out. Yeah. Get as much air out as we can and then half fold it and then roll it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to move and you let me know what you're ready for. Well, we're going to fold it. Oh. Look, it pretty much sucked out all that air. Oh, um, we got a fish. Okay, hold on. I got it. Ready? Move you you got to tighten that thing down. Move my camera. You tighten your Can you point it on me? Yep, trying. No, the other way. Tighter. I know, but oh, I okay. wanted to be able to take it. Okay. Keenan. Ooh, that's a good one. I want to get in here. I'm going to move over here. We get a live well in here, so. Sucker. Oh my Are you God. fucking kidding me? Fucking fall fish. Oh, we were excited about that for nothing. 